When recording patient lab values, doctors will often use shorthand skeleton diagrams. These skeleton diagrams are standardized so that every medical professional will know by looking at the diagram which lab values are represented. You will also hear doctors reporting these lab values in a given order based on these skeleton diagrams. Here I will show you how to use some of the most common skeleton diagrams to record and report your laboratory values. The first skeleton diagram is for the CBC or complete blood count. These four quadrants can be used to record the white blood cell count, hemoglobin, hematocrit, and platelet counts. Sometimes you will see a white blood cell count differential recorded to the right like this when there is concern for infection. When reporting the CBC, you will give the white blood cell count, hemoglobin and hematocrit, then platelet count in that order. The next skeleton diagram you may use is for the CMP, or Complete Metabolic Panel. This diagram can be used to record the following values. Sodium, potassium, chloride, bicarbonate, BUN, creatinine, and glucose. Calcium, magnesium, and phosphate can be recorded using brackets to the right of glucose. When reporting these electrolytes, you should go from top to bottom, working your way from left to right of the skeleton diagram. The order will be sodium, potassium, chloride, bicarbonate, BUN, creatinine, and then glucose. For the other components of the CMP, you can use another four-quadrant system, as you did for the CBC. Here you can record your ALT, AST, bilirubin, and alkaline phosphatase. For coagulation factors, use the Mercedes-Benz symbol. Here you can record your PT, your PTT, and your INR. Finally, you may see ABGs, or arterial blood gases, recorded using shorthand. These are written simply as forward slashes between each value. The values are recorded and reported in the following order. pH, pCO2, PO2, bicarbonate, and O2 saturation. FiO2, or fraction of inspired oxygen, can be recorded at the end after O2 saturation, separated by a comma. With these skeletons, you can record laboratory data with efficiency and clarity. With practice, these notations should become second hand to you and will help make your pre-rounding activities run smoothly.